Hello, this is Mr. Aguilar. Fry asked me to do a quick overview of kind of how my experience was going with uh, learning a new language. Uh, and I thought it was great that she gave me the opportunity to share with you all. I did already record this once, but I went well over my five minute limit. So I'm going to kind of skip some stuff and kind of focus on the more important things. Okay, here are the big things that I kind of focus on for trying to learn a language. But like I said, I'm going to skip some stuff. Uh, you need to have, and Frau's already gone over this, which is why I'm kind of skipping over this. You need to really have some sort of reason why you want to learn that language clearly defined, so you have some sort of like reason to keep going. Okay. Uh, the greater focus of what I'm going to talk about is here. Uh, so yeah, I think one of the big things that I learned is having consistent consistency is key. Um, <clears throat> I'm not like an expert in language learning. I'm a history teacher. I'm not in like a, any other type of teacher. Uh, so I don't really understand like the science behind like language learning strategies and stuff. So basically what I have for you here is just the three things that I keep in mind. Like have some sort of reason to do it, be consistent and be accountable. Um, so yeah, I think I'll kind of break down more the consistency and the types of things that I use to kind of keep me going. Now. For consistency, I think you need to have engaging content or engaging ways to learn the language. And I think you need to have time variable activities. I'll kind of explain what I mean by that. Time variable means that there are some activities that you can do to learn a language that takes maybe like longer times and some that take shorter times. So uh, I'll kind of get into that. But first off with engaging, you have to have like things that make you want to be consistent, th things that are interesting or, or fun to do to keep you learning that language. Because there's going to be that spark at the beginning. And I mean, I'm acting like I know so much. I don't. I'm just telling you about my experience. But I assume I'm going to have some sort of spark at the beginning of this year to want to learn German as I'm having right now. But it's probably going to peter out a bit. Uh, so I kind of need to have content that makes me want to come back. My favorite TV show before I started learning German this year. My favorite TV show is Babylon Berlin. I don't recommend it uh, just because it's like more for adults. So you didn't hear from me that you should watch this show, but it's a good show. Um, but like when you're older or whatever. So like that's a German made TV show and they speak in German. That's a very fun way for me to engage with the language. Um, but that's like an hour long per episode. What if I don't have an hour? Well, I also have these kinds of things. Like I have Duolingo, which I use a little bit because uh, the lessons you can do in like four minutes or whatever, two minutes. I also have like a flashcard app. I can literally do a flashcard in like 10 seconds. I have a couple decks online on an app called Anki. And basically you can like pre-upload like the most commonly spoken words in basic like almost any language. And then they have pre-made flashcards with people saying it out loud for you. Uh, so yeah, uh, we all have like various amounts of time in our lives. And sometimes on certain days I have more time to do the more long based activities. But some days I only have some time to just do my flashcards, maybe a little bit of Duolingo, right? <clears throat> Additionally, I watch a YouTube channel called Easy German. I try to watch about a video or two of them uh, a day. It's just basically people walking on the streets talking to native German speakers and just have interesting topics. Things I'd watch normally, it just so happens to be in German with German subtitles, so that's kind of cool. Obviously, I have uh, Frau's uh, Modern Classroom, Google Classroom. So that's what I use a lot when I have more like time. If I ever have like a 45 minute block or like a 30 minute block where I can do stuff, hey, I got the Frau class. I also have this textbook that I got from, I'm not recommending this one, I'm just saying you can just get textbooks uh, from like the library, uh, right? Uh, one of the big things I wanted to note is all the strategies or tools I use to learn a language. I don't, I haven't paid for any of these things. You can find like a lot of things uh, for free that can get you to where you want to go. Uh, but yeah, you got to be consistent. You have, you have to want to engage with the material. It should be engaging material. And they have to be time variable because some days you are going to have a lot of time to watch two episodes of Easy German, watch a Babylon Berlin, look at your textbook. And some days you're not. Uh, you're going to have those little chunks of like five minutes scattered throughout the day. And hey, that's a good day for more flashcard base. Okay. Lastly, accountability. I only got 30 seconds, so I'll finish this up quick. You don't want to take the journey alone. Um, obviously, you have your MHS community to kind of hold you accountable. Be basically to the to where like if you, you just want someone to hold you accountable. You got to keep doing it but your drive is going to peter out a bit. So having some people support you to be accountable will be helpful. Italki is an app where you can have people online hold you accountable, but also very simply, you can just keep a journal. That's kind of what I do. And I just kind of record all the German I do each day. And that kind of holds me accountable. Um, keeps me wanting to 
keep going. Yeah, it's a journal. It's not going to care if I don't do German that day, but it does help me out a little bit uh, with wanting to keep continuing. So yeah, that's the basics. Have a reason why you want to learn your language. Uh, be consistent with it, which I think the most important part of consistency is engaging material and time variable material so you can fit it into your day wherever and whenever. And then having some sort of accountability system, whether that's like actual people. I talk is kind of like verbal or like pen pals. I didn't go into that much just because my time's running out. And then also just the journal is pretty simple. Okay, well, it was nice talking to you guys. Thanks for, for letting me share. Have a good one. Bye-bye.